Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of data objects and attribute types, guys. Guys, this is one of the most important topic as there you could expect a two marks question directly from this topic. So basically, he could give a variable and he could ask to what it is, ask you what it is in that way. So that is the reason why you should be perfect with this guy. So in some situations, you might be getting an LAQ also. We cannot say, right? Yes. So that is the reason why please at least understand it once, guys, because the concept is really easy here. There is nothing to learn in it. Okay. Yes. So first, let us go through the concept of data object, then attribute and its types, guys. Okay. Yes. So data set are nothing but the data objects, guys. Okay. So your question is, so what is this data objects? Okay. So let us first go through the example. Okay. So assume that we are having a database about the sales database, guys. Okay. So it is having some columns, customer, storage, item, sales. So these customer storage item sales are nothing but data objects guys. So in simple words, you can say each and every column is a data object. Okay. Yes. So data objects are describing about the attributes. So your question is, so now what are these attributes? So we will be filling data in terms of columns, right? Yes. So those, sorry, columns, right? So those columns are nothing but attributes guys. Okay. Yes. So now let us go through attributes. So a data field representing a characteristic or future of data object also called the dimension or future of variable okay so each and every column is an attribute and each and every row is a data type guys okay sorry data object guys okay so i think i told in the reverse way in the initial stages please recheck it once again guys so i'm confirming it so column is attribute and the row is a data object guys okay yes okay so now let us go through the attributes types of attributes okay yes okay sorry for that guys okay so now let us go through the types of attributes so the first type is nothing but the nominal attribute guys so the nominal attributes in simple words you can say those are nothing but names guys okay yes so if you take an example so here colors will be black brown white gray red blonde like that right there are multiple colors right yes so all those colors in the form of a text are called as a nominal attributes guys so re relating to names each value represents some kind of category code or state okay so also referred as categorical attributes okay so the second type are nothing but the binary attribute guys so from the name only any kind of csc student can say binary means zero or one simple right yes so nominal attributes with only two categories stating or states either 0 or 1 okay symmetrical binary okay symmetric binary is nothing but both outcomes are equal and important okay so if you take the example of gender there could be a chance of a male and female right so in approximation we can say both of them will be almost equal like 50 percent 50 percent right yes so these type are called as a symmetric binary attributes where there's a high chance that it is equal okay similarly asymmetric binary is a nothing but where the outcomes are not equal guys okay yes so the example could be medical test guys so it might be any kind of test there is a chance of getting positive is very less when compared to negative right yes so basically positive means he is having that disease or he is having that issue right yes so ha having is really less when compared to not having right yes so that here it is not equal. So those are called as asymmetric binary attributes. Okay. So the third type is a nothing but ordinal attribute guys. Okay. So in simple words, let us take the example of a pizza guys. Okay. Yes. So pizza could be of a three sizes, right? Small, medium and large. If you observe here, there is a some relation between the two pairs, right? So small, medium. So it's a bit larger than small is nothing but medium, right? Yes. A bit larger than medium is large right yes so they are having the size relation here so these kind of things are nothing but ordinal guys so values have a meaningful order ranking by magnitude being successful values is not known so basically assume let us take a small example guys assume that this small pizza is 20 centimeters this is a 40 centimeters and this is 65 centimeters right so it is increasing in that way some kind of relation will be there so those are nothing but ordinal attributes okay Similarly, numerical attribute types. Okay. Yes. So here we, we are having numerical means we are able to count it, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. These are measurable quantities represented in integer or real values. Okay. Yes. And these are also called as quantitative attributes, guys. So the previous ones which we studied, those are nothing but nominal, binary and ordinal 
ordinal these are three are qualitative attributes guys remember that okay yes so the best example for this uh, in, in these two types guys that is nothing but interval scaled attribute and ratio scaled i think so yeah ratio scaled sorry for that okay so interval based so here the from the name only you can say so there is some interval wherever this interval is there the length of that interval is same so that is nothing but the interval based guys okay so if you take the degrees or foreign heat any kind of temperature meter or any kind of scale always the difference between 1 cm assume that here we are taking scale so 1 cm from 9th cm to 10th cm the distance is 1 similarly from 100th cm to 101th cm is also 1 so in this way we are having some similar intervals when compared so that those come under this interval scaled attributes guys okay whereas ratio scaled attributes are nothing but here we are having ratios so in interval we are not having zero point guys whereas in ratio we can have zero point okay we can speak of the value being an order of multiple so basically here you can say that 10 degrees is a multiple two times multiple of 5 kelvin so you can write in terms of ratios like if you multiply this with this you get that in that way right yes okay and the last type is nothing but discrete versus continuous attributes guys okay so discrete attributes are nothing but has a finite or con countable sets so basically here we are having a limited number of set guys like it might be a pin code right or zip code okay similarly some kind of a profession okay yes so partially real values can only be measured and represented using a finite number of digits commonly called as floating digits okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea about this all attributes and their types and it objects right yes so in the next lecture we will be discussing about some basic statistical description of data guys like mean median mode variance and all those things we will be discussing in our next lecture guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching